What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, bringing you guys our Week 9 battle in PGL. Your Detroit Type Nulls are taking on the Seattle Staraptors, coached by Gearheart, good friend of mine. You guys go check him out. It'll be in the description of this video, as well as the team builder for this video, for this battle, in case you guys didn't check it out. We got Scarf Magnazone. We got Specially Defensive Cresselia. We got Bulky Offense Nato Queen. We got Defensive Drodagon. We got Defensive uh, We got defensive Mega Scissor, and we have Leftovers Sub Victini. So, that is our team going and you guys can see the six that i think he's going to be bringing skun tank lucario mamoswine skarmory mega manectric and serena i've got a question of the day for you guys what is your favorite weather style in pokemon battles let me know uh gearheart does have the potential to bring a bit of a rain team we have drafted sand in the past so let me know in the comment section down below also i do want to let you guys know if i remember to edit in like a little graphic right here but in the description of this video as well you guys can find shirts for our detroit type null battles if you guys want to pick up a shirt or a hoodie support the channel and represent your detroit type nulls in the very Various leagues that we're a part of feel free to do so that's in the description all that being said i'm gonna cut to where we connect with gearheart and i'll be right back all right we are good to go i got the ultra recon squad music going let's see what his team is really quickly let's see how close we were so we have here okay uh three ain't bad three ain't bad so no lucario we do see noivern he does bring the rain no Mamoswine, we do see the Pelipper, and no Skarmory, but we see the Kabutops. All right, let me just change this up here on the layout really quickly. We see that, we see no Lucario, we see the Noivern. Get that all changed up. We see no Mamo, but instead we see the Pelipper, which is fine by me. This kind of gives... Uh, this kind of gives uh, Magnazone a good uh, good run right now. We're good. And then no Skarmory, but we do see the Kabutops. All right. So, uh, looking at his team, uh, Mega Manectrix a really good lead. Um, actually, looking at his team, honestly, um, I really just like... I really just, I, I mean, I can lead, I can lead so many options here. I'm going to lead off with Nidoqueen. I think it's a pretty safe bet. I'm going to lead off with Pokewoman. I'm going to lead off with that and see how it goes. Very interesting that he brought the rain. Very, very interesting he brought the rain. I knew Skuntank was coming. I knew Skuntank was there. Mega Manectric was too good not to bring. And then Serena was also pretty good against my team. So the the Noivern, I will I will want to get rocks up at some point with Drudagon if I'm able to. Um, he has uh, four forms of hazard removal. So Noivern also gets Defog, if I'm not mistaken. So he has four forms of hazard removal on the team. Uh, actually, five if he has Rapid Spin on all of them. So he leads off with Izanagi. Which is going to be the Manectric that is fine by me. We we take these, boys. We take these. What is your Sludge Wave switch in? What is your Sludge Wave switch in, my friend? Earth Power knocks you out. Am I man enough to Thunderbolt on his switch? What do you bring in? I don't think you switch in a Pelipper on me. Earth Power is pretty obvious. Sludge Wave is a pretty mid-ground play. I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave. It hits his entire team. He withdraws. Okay. And that is going to... He's going to go on to Aello, which is the... Pel oh, my goodness. If I was manly enough... Oh, man. If I was manly enough, I wanted to, to... Oh, I knew the Pelipper was going to come in. We can go for the Sludge Wave here. Sludge Wave, we should be able to gauge the damage of this. Uh, that's doing a little over half. All right, and we don't see Leftovers. We don't see the leftovers. Um, that's looking to be like a very offensive set. I feel very fine switching into something like Magnazone right now. Let me just take a look here. Um, Hydro Pump or Surf in the rain does hurt. Huh. And I'm pretty sure I don't take a hit from this thing with Nidoqueen. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Um, That's what I have Cresselia here for. I'll go on to Cresselia right now. I don't want to take a hit. If I would have Thunderbolted right there, man, you want to talk about a man's man. That would have been the best play ever. And he just withdraws, actually. Okay, and he's going to go out into Seth, which is not the Skuntank. 
Neuvern, actually. Cool, 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 cool. We take those. We take those. Um, what does Neuvern want to do to me? Uh, Hurricane's not doing too much. Draco's not doing too much. Um, I could see him wanting to U-turn out into Scum Tank here. Uh, Needle Queen takes these hits too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back out into Needle Queen. He just goes for the U-turn. That's fine. We eat those for days. Yeah. All right, and we've seen Drizzle on the Pelipper. And we've seen U-turn on the Noivern. Cool, 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 cool. Goes out into whatever this is. Kabutops. Okay. Um, there is a reason I have my Dredagon, and it is for you. There is a reason I have my Dredagon, and it is for you. That is exactly what this is for. Uh, Stone Edge is going to hurt, but I imagine he's going to go for a Waterfall or an Earthquake. And we take those very well, and Rocks are going to pressure a lot of his team. Also good to know is that we do have the ability to taunt the Serena, provided he doesn't have a lot of speed investment on it either. Yeah, Dredagon is 100% the play here. That's that's why I brought Dredagon was for Kabutops. Um, potentially even the Serena as well. So we'll see what he ends up wanting to do here. Noivern is the Z user that he does have on the team. I'm not taking uh, I'm not taking a waterfall in the rain from this bad boy. So we'll go out here in a pineapple. Stone Edge is a three hit KO on us. Goes for the Stone Edge. All right. Uh, you're banded. You are banded. Okay. So. Uh, I'm going right back out in a Needle Queen. How well? Yeah, I'm going back out in a Needle Queen right now. Banded Stone Edge doing 30 to 36. Oof. That hurts. Goes to the Stone Edge again. That is fine. We take those. Um, now that he know, now that I know he's banded, that was wow. Item choice of band. Um, Earth Power or Thunderbolt's a pretty easy play here. Um, how many turns of rain has it been? Is he Damp Rock? Do I know if I'm faster yet? He is Damp Rock on the Pelipper. All right. Um. Thunderbolt does not knock him out. Earth Power does, though. What do you switch in here? I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's a good neutral play. Thunderbolt is a very good neutral play. I take another Stone Edge. That's fine. Thunderbolt weakens him to uh, 20 to 6, six to 20 percent. He'll be living this on. I thought that was a crit at first. Oh my goodness. Banded Kabutops, dude. He withdraws, okay. He goes out into Seth, which is going to be the Noivern. Noivern does not want to take a Thunderbolt. That is doing good damage. So now I can Ice Beam pretty freely. Um, I take any hit. Let me see here. Uh, Noivern. Life Orb Hurricane. 35 to 42. I'm at 58. I can knock this bad boy out with a Ice Beam pretty easily. Goes for the Hurricane. That's fine. We take those. I'm at 28%, but we do knock out the Noivern. So, Nido Queen knocks out Noivern with Ice Beam. All right, cool. Goes back out into you. Uh, we don't have many turns of rain left here, guy. This is your last turn of rain. So 
Stone Edge is going to knock out my Drudagon. Um, does Mega Scissor take this hit? Like, before Mega Evolution? Yeah, he can just Stone Edge again, man. Goes for the Liquidation, actually. So Dreadagon would have been the play here. So much damage. They did 80%, man. Eighty percent, man. I gotta. Do I roost right now? Do I Mega Evolve and roost? I don't think I do. I'm gonna double up Nadragon. If he tries to pick up this KO, I mean, I'm gonna go into Nadragon. Hopefully, Banded Kabu tops, dude. That hurt. That hit so hard. So, so, so hard. I gotta get rid of that Pelipper, man. If I would've got rid of that Pelipper turn one, I wouldn't have to worry about this thing as much. Ah. Unfortunate. So we'll we'll go uh We'll go into our Drudagon right now. It'll at least get him some um some rough skin damage. I can potentially threaten him out with something like Victini. I can potentially threaten him out with something like uh Magnazone. So he stays in. We're going to get some rough skin damage off. We take those. All right, cool, 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 cool. So on the off chance he wants to keep this thing around, he's going to take a little bit more damage, which is fine. I kind of want to click rocks. If he feels like taking a little bit more damage, cool. He would draw us. So we do get our rocks up, which is nice. It's going to force one of his mons. Uh, ALO comes back out, which is the Pelipper. Um, rock sliding here would have been absolutely cool. One of these days, I'll remember. One of these days, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. So now my other question is, does Pelipper um, outspeed us? So... He's damp rock. Um... How much speed would you have to have? Do I think I'm faster? Or do I like this thing for the for the for the plays? And does Dragon Claw Dragon Claw knocks you out? I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Claw. That should knock him out. Oh no! All right, so he's got the Roost. So we've seen that. I think I taunt now. Because now that I know that I'm faster. Rock Slide also picks up a KO right here. I think I want to go for the Rock Slide. Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Drudagon, that's an 85% accurate move. That knocked him out. We wouldn't have had to worry about rain anymore. Uh, I'm going to go for another Rock Slide here. I can go for a flinch. If he decides to stay in and like click Ice Beam or something. Oh, that's so huge. That's so huge. Give me a flinch right here. That is a defensive Pelipper. Give me a flinch to make up for the miss. He goes for the Hurricane. Hurricane should knock me out, actually. That does knock me out. All right. We burn some rain. Pelipper knocks out Drudagon with Hurricane. So, if Drudagon was faster, the Nido Queen is faster. If Drudagon's faster, the Nido Queen's faster. I'm gonna go out in a Nido Queen here. Now, Thunderbolt should knock you out. He's got some HP on him. So 
Sludge Wave does 50 to 61. He could very easily go into Mega Manectric on my Thunderbolt here. I'm going to click Earth Power. I might over predict here. He withdraws. Okay. Goes down to Izanagi, which is the Mega Manectric. Give me this. Give me this monster. Awesome. Awesome. Needle Queen. Knocks out. Manectric with Earth Power. All right. So he's got turns of rain that we got to burn, and I think Cresselia is the way to do that. As much as I don't want it to. My dogs are barking in the background. I apologize. Nothing I can do about that. We've seen Stone Edge, and we've seen Liquidation. All right. I have three turns of rain left. Um, I definitely think Smooch is not the best play. I'm going to sack Smooch here. Goes to the Liquidation. Okay. Kabutops knocks out Scizor with Liquidation. My dogs are going crazy. Again, I apologize. Uh, Kabutops. I'll tell you what's crazy. Liquidate. Ooh. I'll go on to this. So he can freely go into Scum Tank right here. But I can also Moonlight off enough of this damage. He's got two turns left. Because I could be defensive and take this liquidation. He just goes Scum Tank. I think he wants to keep this thing around. I'm gonna double into Nido Queen. He withdraws. Okay, cool. He goes out into Kadobal Pass, which is the Skun Tank. Awesome. He's gonna take some rocks damage. Now, I believe Skun Tank. We see Black Sludge on this thing. Okay. So if he's not run uh, actually if he's running speed, he still outspeeds me. And I'm at 28%. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Magna Zone here. I think that's my play. Yeah, because even if he's... Ah, I should have put a little bit more speed in Needle Queen. Outspeed on Invested Scum Tank. That's unfortunate. He can defog here, though, pretty freely. But he loses this thing. We see Black Sludge. No uh, no Shooka Berry. So... We'll be able to just uh, go out into our Magna Zone right here. And I think I just click Thunderbolt until it goes down, honestly. <clears throat> Bandit Kabu Tops, you just got no switch ins for that thing. <clears throat> I can try to with Cresselia. Like, he can miss a Stone Edge, but no, liquidation in the rain, man. So let's see. I'll go on to Magna Zone here. He goes for the Crunch. Okay. Oh, that did a lot. Let's calc that really quickly. Um, Scum Tank. Scum 
so I am now at 40%. So he is max attack adamant. I want to get I want to get Victini behind a sub at some point because I think Victini can win this behind a sub. Wish I had energy ball for that Kabu taps, man. Thunderbolt's doing the most. Thunderbolt's like the best play overall. And definitely because he got that defense drop. Now Crunch picks me off. Has a chance to pick me off. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here. He withdraws actually. He goes down to Alron, which is probably the Serena. That's fine. Okay, and we see no... Um... We see no damage from that thing. Would you hide jump kick here? What would you do here? Would you just rapid spin? Would you hide jump kick? I think you'd rapid spin. I'm gonna go into Nido Queen here. Magnezone outspeeds everything now. Goes for the U turn. Okay. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Alright, so I'm glad we didn't go into Victini. Unfortunately, now he gets in that Pelipper, and I think Kabutops just wins. Or he just goes out into Kabutops here. To pick up the KO. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here. He reveals the Aqua Jet. I don't know if that kills Magnazone. Does Bandit Aqua Jet knock me out? Aqua Jet does not knock me out, so that gives me a Volt Switch, which knocks this boy out. So I'll Volt Switch here. Probably sacks the Pelipper just to get the rain up. Yep. Oh no, actually. Gives me gives me my Victini in. Okay. This isn't over. Alright. So. Um. Let me see here. Uh. Scun Tank. I'm going to Victini here. And I'm going to sub. Got to play this out right. We can still win this. We just got to play it out right. It's not looking good, but we can still win this. Sub Victini can come through right now. Knock off. All right, so we're going to take that. And we're still out of sucker punch range, too, which is nice. So I'm just going to blue flare here, which should put down the Serena. All right. 
Victini kills um, Serena with Blue Flare. We're out of Adam and Sucker Punch range too, so Blue Flare has a chance to knock out the Skun Tank too. Unfortunately, I need to get behind a sub. And I think he needs to go for a Sucker Punch here. So it's a mind game right now. I can take a Sucker Punch or he loses this thing to Blue Flare. Well, let me just double check here. He takes rocks twice? No, because he already black sludged up. I think, I, how do I do this? Goes down to ALO. That's the Pelipper. Okay, Pelipper's gonna take rocks and I can charge beam up. I'm gonna go for the charge beam here. Cause nothing he could do is go for the rain, weaken my blue flare. All right, so this is gonna give me the Pelipper. Bikini kills Pelipper with charge beam. We don't even get the special attack raise. That's a 70% chance, man. I have been so unlucky. I missed the rock slide, which would have killed this thing, which would have probably given me the game. And now I don't get the charge beam boost. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I'm gonna sag the Magna Zone, man. Ah! That's just so unfortunate. Night Slash. Okay. So I could have Volt Switched around right there. There is another way. But he'd still lock himself in Aqua Jet, I think, against this thing. So... Night Slash is actually doing less. Hmm. And he's still got the Aqua Jet. I'm pretty sure Bandit Aqua Jet probably knocks out Victini too. Mm, Aqua Jet does not. Sucker Punch into Aqua Jet does though. He just Night Slashes again, okay. So, um, Kabutops kills Magnazone with Night Slash. Charge Beam has a chance to kill this guy. Banded Night Slash is 62 to 73 to Victini. I think I gotta go into Luna, and I gotta stall out turns here. Uh, how much am I doing to Kabu Tops with this thing? Psychic does 40 to 48, Shadow Ball does 24 to 28. Um... Our Shadow Ball here? Band of Night Slash is 38 to 45 to me. That is a three hit KO. I can two tap him with Shadow Ball and then hopefully get some damage off with this thing so Victini can blue flare the, um, so Victini can blue flare the Skun Tank. Cause I think we're bulky enough to be able to, this is gonna be really close. If we pull this off, this is so close. Two turns of rain left, he goes for the Night Slash, 38 to 45. We take that, that's 119. All right, I'll Shadow Ball him for some damage. I'll get some leftovers to cover, so that's gonna put me up to... I 
I'm at 58. I'll moonlight right here. Goes to the night slash again. Is that a crit? No, that is not. So we're gonna moonlight. I don't think we live. Mm, we might live this next one. So we're gonna get up to 88. It's gonna be a roll. He has to get a high roll to knock me out here. I'm gonna psychic right here. He has to get a high roll to knock me out. Psychic should knock him out. Ah, he got the roll. Mm. And the rain's still around. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, if he wouldn't have gotten the roll, man. Maybe I should have stalled out more turns of rain. So that way Victini could come in. Night Slash doesn't knock out Victini. That's unfortunate. All right. Um. Uh, he definitely has Sucker Punch. Um. Kabutops kills Cresselia. Night Slash. All right, so I think I charge beam here. I don't see how I win this. I got to win like some mind games and even then mm, 168 I'm at 93 night slash does not knock me out. I have to charge beam here I have to charge beam here and then I think I have to have enough recovery from leftovers <sighs> To go for a sub against this uh this um scun tank. I think that's the only way I win. I don't even know if I'm at enough. Oh, I'm not even at enough to sub. He might not know that. He might not know that. I can blue flare this thing. Uh, I'm plus one, but I'm in the oh, it's in the rain still. Gosh darn it. Mmm. Alright. This is how I win this right here. It's a 1-0. Either way. He might not know that I don't have enough to live this. Uh, plus one blue flare in the rain does 56 to 67. I need him to think I have enough to sub, and he breaks that. And then I need a crit blue flare right now. In the rain. Crit blue flare in the rain, please. Return my hacks. Or burn him. There's the crunch. All right, that's going to be game. That's going to be game. Scun Tank kills Victini with Crunch. All right. That's game. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, show some love on that like button down below. Very, very close match to Gearheart and the Seattle Staraptors. The link to his channel will, of course, be in the description of this video. You guys can go check him out. All that being said, I'm going to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang, and I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later. Later.